Welcome back to part 12 of my King Harold Godwinson game. We are now an adult. Uh, we've gotten our brother betrothed to the Queen of Aragon, patrilineally, so our family is going to be inheriting that land eventually, which is really nice, uh, provided that they have some children together. Speaking of children, that's probably the next thing on my agenda is finding myself a wife and having some kids. Um, yeah, let's honor you and then invite these guys to court. Anytime you get this event, you want to invite them to court after. They'll always come, and they're a really good knight. Yeah, okay. So we have room for another couple counties. I'm going to try to get them back from this guy eventually. Um... It's going to cause tyranny if I do it right now, so maybe we'll just slowly work on claims on these to get them back. Um, well, let's try to find a spouse. Uh, this is an interesting option. She has the exact same traits as me, and she has pretty. She is the eldest daughter of the Duchy of Valletia. I have no idea. Oh, okay, so they they just got that from the Crusade. Uh, it's a Scottish house, though. Kind of interesting that we have identical traits. She is gay, so no other men are going to be able to uh, try to seduce her or anything like that. That's definitely interesting. Uh, this option's kind of interesting, too. We could end up just marrying her. No trait. She's one of our vassals. And she's going to inherit this land from her father as well. At least some of it. Not sure if I want to go down that road, though. She's a countess as well uh, in Ireland. She has two inheritable traits. That's kind of interesting. None of them will come to our court, though, if they're already ruling their own land. Uh, I guess she will. Okay, let's see what other options we have here. Uh, if we sort by skills, we can find the ones with uh, these best traits, in my opinion. The quick, the intelligent, and the genius traits are, are the best ones to go for. Uh, looks like we don't have any great options, unfortunately. I think what I'm going to do is go with Anna Dunbar here. It seems the most sensible thing. We have identical traits. She's Scots, which is, you know, a very relevant culture in the area. This one's tempting as well, but I don't really need to inherit that land on my heir, I don't think. It's not, like, very necessary. So we will marry Anna Dunbar. We'll gain a alliance with the Duchess of Valetia here. So let's do that. She has a nice trait. 100% we become rivals. 50-50 we become rivals. Ooh. Queen of Scotland is now our rival. Uh, do we go for the gold or the prestige? Let's go for the prestige. Interesting. What kind of wars can we declare here? Nothing just yet. Okay, so there we got that upgrade. Next level of fame. I gained Dopey Cat for 10 years. <laughs> okay. Um, so one of the next things I'm going to do is just go on a uh, pilgrimage as well. We went on the university visit. It failed to upgrade our education trait, unfortunately. Uh, but we still got a couple of perk unlocks out of it. Um, so that's fine anyway. We're going to head back to Canterbury again. Uh, just for a nice easy little pilgrimage here. To gain the pilgrim trade at least. Uh, yeah, let's take the stress drop ones when we can. 
Uh, so there goes our brother. He's now going to be down there in Aragon. He is actually a king as well. Good luck to him. Holy warrior. Well, that's good. Hopefully I can drop this stress down a little bit before I... Uh... Okay, no, I don't want to be friends with him. <laughs> uh... I guess we could make him and my heir friends. That's not a big deal. Makes our pilgrimage more pious anyway. But uh, I don't want this stress break to go off again. There we go. Ooh, 320 extra gold. That's nice. Hopefully, me and my wife can have some children pretty quick, though, because my brother is ambitious, so... He might have his eye on our kingdom. Uh, one of the things that I could do is actually just, like, get deposed to become my brother, and then merge these two lands, because we'll inherit this land uh, playing as him, but... I'm not really interested in having, like, a bunch of land down here. I, I think I would rather just focus on this area up here. to continue upgrading buildings. Um, let's just build a little bit of military, get these up to five. Five, five. Okay, there, now everyone's at 500. Or 50, I guess. Uh, so our military is probably as big as we'll ever actually need it to be. That's pretty damn strong. Certainly stronger than anyone we're gonna intend to go to war with. Uh, what's going on here? Breton claim on the Duchy of Normandy. It's interesting. How are you actually succeeding at that? Probably not going to, but winning it by a little bit for now. Uh, Brittany's a piece of land that I wouldn't mind taking, actually. Just a matter of how I can actually get a claim there. Um, maybe once her son is in. He's a shy drunkard, and he's got a sinful trait, so maybe the Pope will be more inclined to give us a claim on it once he takes over. The Duchess is in poor health. We're going to take back this Cornish Duchy whenever we get chronicle writing. Seven more years. Not too bad. My wife and I are both chaste. And she's gay, so... Um, yeah, it might, might not happen too quickly, but hopefully something's going to happen. Um, so she's gotten knocked up here. Uh, which is a little annoying. I could imprison her. Uh, or re revoke the title, I guess. Um, but then, what am I doing? I'm preventing this and this from merging with each other. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. She's my friend, so she's a pretty good vassal, but I'd rather just not have them merge if I can avoid it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what we could do is put you in charge here. Earl the Brute. Your heir is your brother. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. He'll like me quite a bit after I give him the land. Do you have a spouse? You do. She's 38. Oh. Whose children are those, I wonder? Earl Reese becomes my best friend. Um, he's a giant and flagellant. Both of those give health penalties. So that might be kind of dangerous to become his best friend. Uh, that's pretty expensive, but let's see what we get out of it. We do have a lot of gold in this game. So it's a book artifact. Oh, I forgot about this other book artifact. Wow, really terrible. Really, really terrible. 
Uh, at least it gives a little bit of prestige. But this other one that we just got, even though the quality is worse, is probably like almost as good. Neither of them are very good, honestly. Really disappointing. The um, university visit seems to give you like really high quality books, but they seem to be actually really bad. Um, I'll lose a little bit of stress, I guess. So she's trying to befriend me now. She's my rival. I don't necessarily want to be rivals with her. I don't know if I really want to be friends either. So he's gotten injured. It's whatever. So we finally got rid of our regency. So now our only real worry is trying to have a kid with our wife. Head of Faith will give us a claim on the Duchy of Lothian. Uh, that's right next to our land, actually, so let's go ahead and do that. That's going to cost us a lot of our piety, but we can always go on more pilgrimages. We have a lot of gold to be doing that. Um, should we just go for that right away? Maybe we'll save that. Save that in our pocket for now. Uh, maybe the war that I'll go for, though, is this one. So it looks like he's just helping someone in a war over here. Pretty opportune time to go for it. We do have a claim on that duchy. So let's just go and do that nice and easy. I assume his army is going to be over there, but I'm not 100% sure. So this vassal right here is allied with him. And so is one of these Norwegian vassals. Um, but we shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to win this. Yeah, it looks like we're a little bit too powerful. He's not even willing to land and try to fight us. Yeah, we might get a free perk from this. Trying to get strong. There we go. We finally got it. <laughs> Failed a few times, but we just got it. 95%. Let's go for it. There we go. Um, no. So we're powering through the architect tree here. Uh, I guess we can just go up here. If they land, then I'm just going to, yeah, let's go back and get them. Hopefully engage them while they still have that penalty from recently disembarked. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Uh, and then we'll just go and siege some of their other land up here. And that should pretty much be the war done nice and easy. Me coming up here, okay. Um, need of support. Religious fervor is weak. Religious fervor is strong. I don't know what constitutes weak or strong, but I think it's more likely to be this one. I could be wrong, I don't, I don't know. My cat. What is he doing? 92% we catch it. Oh, he's uh, knocking one of our books off the shelf or something. 80% chance we gain a prowess. 90% chance we get wounded. I think I'll just go for this. Keep petting mittens on cooldown. Nice, we got another free unlock. That's pretty good. Um, are they going to get this before us? 40 days. 38 days. Okay, let's just do this. 
Hey, and our wife got pregnant. That's perfect. 96. Okay. Let's go down there and try to beat them off this. And that should be enough to get it. 99. There we go. Uh, and we have enough room to actually continue holding that. Uh, I'm going to usurp the duchy and then I think just probably destroy it since I don't want to give it away just yet. Maybe um, once I have a couple children we'll give it away to one of them. Uh, looks like this is already feudal. Sometimes this is uh, tribal holding near the start of the game. We did get something here. Oh, never mind. It's uh, just an event. Okay. So we'll go ahead and free all of these guys. Let's just do that and make it easier. Um, so we're one click away from getting another two. So that'll be these two that we're going to probably revoke from this guy. Oh wow, what is this? This is from Wards and Wardens. I'm not actually familiar with this. A new holding in the province of Waksbrig. The temple builder, the castle builder, or the city builder? Uh, I think castle builder makes the most sense. We gain architect just for free from this, apparently. Where is that? Okay, so it's one of the empty baronies, it looks like. Uh, so it just starts building that immediately. So apparently... No, we didn't get Architect. Uh, yeah, see, I wasn't super sure about that. It's kind of weird that it would just give you this for free. Yeah, no, it, it didn't give us Architect. That's kind of weird. I've never seen that event before. So we have had a daughter, Hextilda. That's an interesting name. Uh, she did get a trade, though. She did get comely. Uh, so that is our new heir. Hopefully our brother. Oh, there we go. They're pregnant as well. Good luck to him down there. Uh, I think we can get a wet nurse now. She's excellent at it, so we'll let her continue in that role. Uh, and then let's raise the control in the Isle of Man. Uh, hopefully we can end up having a few more children at least. Um, but at least having someone is a whole lot better than nothing. So she's set to inherit both of our kingdoms now. What's the disabled building here? Oh, military schools. Okay, so we don't have access to it because we destroyed the duchy title. I guess we could keep that duchy and then destroy the, the duchy of Kent instead, but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold on to this for long enough that I, I think it's worth it. Let's just continue the way that we are right now. Uh, we could upgrade some of the buildings though. I guess eventually we'll be building the keeps in these other buildings as well in these other holdings. Uh, for now, we're mostly done building the buildings there until we're ready to do that. I guess this one has some room. Yeah, let's go cattle pastures. That's fine. We'll raise our daughter, personally. Not sure how many kids we're going to end up having. Not sure. Well, it's nice when you hold the university. Sometimes they give money to you. It's cool anyone who's visiting your university to upgrade their uh, their education. <laughs> uh, let's not do that just yet. Uh, so we'll take that claim and then work on the other one. And then we almost have divided attention here so we'll be able to take those back and hold them personally. Kind of centralize our power a little bit more. It isn't my capital duchy. I was only giving them away before because I didn't have enough 
stewardship on previous characters to actually hold all that land. So she's starting to like us more and more. She doesn't want to really be beefing with us even though we are rivals. Looks like she's trying to end the rivalry. How close are we on this? Four more years. Um, so the next two wars that we're going to do are going to be Scotland for this Duchy of Lothian here, and then we'll get back the Duchy of Cornwall from Denmark. Uh, so we're going to be expanding quite nicely in the future. Ireland is basically just whenever I want to take it, I'll be able to. Um, I don't think I want to do this, really. What are you doing? I could jail him, but I just gave him that land. And let the traitor be known to all. I'll pardon him. Not too terribly pleased with him. So his wife keeps cheating on him with this guy. You got no children yet. too bad. I'll probably end up going on another pilgrimage, maybe a longer pilgrimage. We'll head down to see the Holy Father, maybe even make our way to uh, Jerusalem. That'll give us a ton of piety, uh, which will kind of solve our shortage here. Uh, Royal Prerogative. That's good. So we could uh, get the th third tier of Crown Authority, which I usually do like to get. Uh, another couple years until we can do that, though. So we're allied to the Duchess of Valetia, and she is declaring war against this Crusader Queen who is in our house. If we decline it, we lose some fame. It's probably not a big deal, though. I don't really want to participate in it. I don't want her to get deposed uh, because she's in our she's in our house. She's in our dynasty. The land won't be for long, because she's married patrilineally, but I'd rather not her get deposed before she dies. I'd rather her stay in power so that we can get a little bit of extra renown from her. She's starting to get some, some stuff over here. Yeah. How's it going in Aragon? So they did manage to have a daughter together. House Godwin, so a future queen potentially. Not sure why her sister is listed as the heir, but I think it will update eventually. Um, so now we can hold this extra land. He's going to be pissy with me after I take this, but there's no tyranny, so I'll just do what I want. Um, yeah, not bad. hold nine domain. It's pretty damn good. Uh, another daughter. She got pretty this time. Wolfren. So that's good. Uh, hopefully we have a son eventually. We don't want to split these kingdoms up. But uh, we're going to have to see what happens here. Not sure what happened to my wet nurse. Guess we'll just put her in there. Looks like she had a daughter with her husband. Uh, you can raise this other random kid as well. Oh, there we go. Now we gain the castle builder architect. Oh, I understand. It had to actually finish building before we got it. That kind of makes sense. Um, so we did get architect. We just had to finish building at first. Uh, I don't know why it's not, like, unlocked here. It's kind of odd. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens when this next one unlocks. Good to know. Um, I think I'm just going to... Oh, maybe I'll let this guy have it. Yeah, that's cool. The chivalrous. 
Uh, I'd rather not hold baronies. I'd rather hold counties themselves. They're a little bit better. So I'll just end up taking this one away, and that'll be my tenth. Another house, Godwin Ipswich. Our dynasty continues to build its legacy. Um, but I'm going to stop it here for now. Thank you for watching this part. I'm going to continue on in the next part. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.